20 today's session so we continue looking at the 2021 mathematics paper one so today we are covering question 20 through 23 so we've done question one up to question 19 in our first uh, four parts of our series so question 20 leads in the diagram below a b equals three centimeter then b c four centimeter then a d 13 centimeter and angle b c is, is equal to angle c d angle a c d 90 degrees calculate the value of tan d a c tan d a c so it's asking us to find d a c this angle using a time so we need to notice that if this is 90 degrees we have this is the hypotenuse for this angle angle a b c then angle s a c d a c d this angle is the opposite then this angle is adjacent so what we need to do is we need to find first this side side d small b so side small b is basically the hypotenuse of the small angle b c so the, the the hypotenuse is given by b square is equal to in this case a plus c square okay so what side a side a is this one side c is this one so what we have is basically b square is equal to uh force square plus three square which will end up with b square is equal to 16 plus 9 so b square is equal to basically 25 find the square root the square root so b is equal to basically 5 okay so b is equal to basically 5 then having found b we have found what b is then we can go on to find uh to find the opposite remember from sokatoa sokatoa we know that tan for us to use tan of an angle we need to know the opposite and the adjacent so what we need to do is we need to find this opposite to this angle where this angle is facing so this angle we know this is hypotenuse so what it means is this is a then this is this is now becomes c according to this angle or this is c according to this angle then this is d so what we know what you know is c square is equal to basically uh d which we found d square plus uh, a square which we are looking for so for us to find a square is basically c square minus d square so c where this angle is is 13 so we have 13 square minus then this side is a is what we're looking for then c or d is this angle which we found to be 5 which is b so 5 square so we end up with 169 minus 25 which is basically 144 and this is a square so for us to find a we introduce the square root the square root so a is nothing but 12 remember 12 we can't have uh, the negative centimeter so it's just a positive 12 so we have uh, that positive 12 as uh, so having found that we know now in this case you know now in this case we can easily lab this so that it's much more clear so we know now we are looking for this angle where we know this is 5 then this is 12 so this angle is basically this is the opposite of the angle then this is the adjacent of the angle so what we know is in this case now turn this angle which is this angle adc dsc which is recording theta is equal to basically what's the opposite opposite is basically 12 then what is um what is adjacent is 5 so what we know is now in this case tan d a c is equal to basically uh 2 2 over 5 as 
our answer okay as our answer so that's what this time is equal to so it's 2 2 over 5 okay which is or basically 12 over 5 2 2 over 5 okay so that's the question 20 let us move to question 21 so 21 leads light three inequalities that define the unshaded region are on the diagram below so if you notice here we have three lines we have this one line one which is uh, dotted if you see here it's not a solid line then we have line two which is solid then line three which is solid so each of this line has an equality so if you look at this line this is a two two comma zero this is the region what we want which is all the x's that are greater than two so we have um, the first inequality is x is greater than 2 because the line is broken so x is not part of the solution then we need to find the inequality 2 which is this one so this one we use the general principle that n straight line is given by y is equal to m times x plus c where m is equal to y2 minus y1 which is the gradient then x2 minus x1 okay so let us pick two points along this line so we have this one the first one which is 0 comma 8 then the second one which is 4 6 comma 4 6 comma 4 like this one so since we know that we can find the gradient so m is equal to in this case it will be 4 minus 8 over 6 minus 0 which is equal to 4 minus 8 is minus 4 over 6 minus 0 which is 6 which is basically minus 2 over 3 this is basically our gradient hence this one becomes y is equal to minus 2 over 3x plus c but we need to know what c is we need to know what the value of c is okay so to find the value of c we pick one of these two points because that's where the line is passing so it's easier to pick the first one because it has a zero we know that at that point what's the value of y eight what's the value of x is zero then what will be the value of c so we just end up with eight is equal to c remember this part is zero because zero times anything is zero so we have now our equation our second equation is y is equal to basically uh, minus 2 over 3x plus 8. But we are looking for the area below this line. So the area below like this line, remember the area along this line is equal to these odds. So all the areas below this line is less. So the closest point that is below this line is 0. Okay. So if I put in zero into this i put zero here then i want to know what what should be here so it will be this time zero is zero okay then i have eight so it's zero plus eight zero so what i notice here is what is true is this value is less than eight okay this value is less than eight that's what is true so if i come here and now relate this inequality relate this inequality properly what this inequality becomes now because of, remember that's less so y y should be less than minus 2 over 3x plus 8 now because this is a solid line so it means up to this point is part of the solution so meaning y should be less or equal to minus 2 over 3x plus 8 that's our inequality too so in a similar way in a similar way we can find the third in equality so the third in equality so that's how we find the third in equality in a similar way we can find the third in equality so we just clean the body the board so that we solve for the third in equality so the third in equality we have again two points we have so in this case we have basically uh for this point wise passing which is a two comma zero and basically a six comma four so the first thing is we need to find the gradient which is y2 minus y1 over uh, x2 minus x1 so what this tells, tells us is we have basically four minus zero 
over basically uh, 6 minus 2 so we end up with basically 4 over 4 which is basically equal to 1 okay 1 so meaning meaning in our general equation y is equal to m x plus c what it means y is equal to basically 1 multiplied by x plus c so y is equal to x plus c okay as then we can find the c at this point where we have a zero it's easier to go with the point that has a zero because it's much more straight so what we know is y is zero at that point what is x x is equal to 2 plus c so we solve for c so when this one crosses the equal sign it becomes negative so c is equal to negative 2 so we have basically an equation y is equal to x minus 2 x minus 2 but we are looking for the area above and the area above this origin is above this line okay so if you are to put 0 by 0 0 and 0 i'll end up with 0 y then i want to put something here to discuss then what is x x 0 at origin so it's 0 minus 2 so I end up with 0 box then minus 2 so what i know is 0 is greater than minus 2 so i have a greater okay now since this is part of the equation so we have basically this case so we have y is greater than x minus 2 then because this solid line is part of the solution this line is a solid line then we include the the equal part so these are the three in equality for question 21